For what purpose do you rise? To consume my remaining time. Gentleman is recognized for four minutes. Mr. Speaker, to begin, five trillion means that in the first place, nothing in this bill assumes any responsibility for any of those mortgages. Zero. If every single mortgage held by Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac were to pay zero, then you would have a five trillion dollar problem, but it wouldn't be ours. What you have is the Federal Reserve and the, the, the plunge protection team have launched what amounts to an open-ended bailout of the U.S. banking system. And they are, in order to try to plug the holes in banks that are bankrupt, they're pouring money in at an incredible rate. If you look at the, uh, the emergency facilities that they've created the, for commercial banks and for investment banks, back in December they started with a $40 billion limit of mm -hmm. loans that were supposedly to enable us to get through what they called the credit crunch to get through the end of the year. And this was supposed to solve the problem. And then after that, everything was going to be okay. Now, this program of loans has escalated to the point where now they have issued over a trillion and a half dollars worth of loans in these two programs that were designed, originally stated, to $40 billion. So this thing is snowballing because they are trying to plug a hole which is growing. You have the, the collapse of the banking system, you have the evaporation of assets, and there's no way you can print enough money to cover this. I mean, essentially what they're trying to do is they're trying to solve a debt crisis by creating more debt. And in order to, to solve that debt crisis, you actually have to create more debt than exists in order to cover the current debt. So what this is, is an open-ended process of creating enormous amounts of debt, which is going to destroy the value of the U.S. dollar through hyperinflation. The dollar is going to become worthless. And this is the process that we're seeing now with the prices, price increases in oil and food and other things, that we have a, an escalation, a, a loss of the value of the dollar. And under hyperinflation, the, the currency basically loses its value faster than you can pump it out. This is what happened in Weimar, Germany, and this is where we're headed now. And these bailouts are just the beginning. And this, the chart that I produced that you'll see is only a limited portion of this bailout. If you take the money that they pumped in to support the, the quote-unquote housing bill, which is actually to support mortgage paper, the money that's been lent from the federal home loan banks, the stimulus checks, you know, they've pumped in an enormous amount of money already. And the situation is worse than ever. Now you have a situation where the Federal Reserve refuses to raise interest rates to defend the dollar. And the whole system is crashing down. They're doing exactly the wrong thing. What needs to be done is this whole system needs to be shut down, needs to be put through bankruptcy reorganization. We need to start cleaning it up. But it's not going to survive. And the attempt to keep it alive is going to destroy everything through hyperinflation.